Hey everyone, welcome back to Economic Insights. Today we are going into one of the most popular and influential books in the history of economics. The Wealth of Nations by Adam Smith. Written in 1776, it has sold millions of copies worldwide and remains a fundamental work in the field. Let's explore its key ideas and the controversy behind it. So, what are the major takeaways from The Wealth of Nations? Here are the five key ideas that heavily impacted modern economics. Division of labor. Smith recognized that dividing labor into specialized tasks increases productivity and efficiency. This concept laid the foundation for modern production systems and the idea of specialization in the workforce. The invisible hand. Smith introduced the concept of the invisible hand, the idea that the self-interest and competition in a free market drive economic growth and prosperity. This principle is central to the idea of laissez-faire capitalism. The role of self-interest. Smith argued that individuals driven by self-interest would make decisions that benefit the overall economy. His view on self-interest as a motivator to trade and economic development still influences economic thinking today. The importance of free markets. Smith believed that minimal government intervention in markets allows for more efficient allocation of resources and higher economic growth. This idea has been foundation for free market economic uh, policies around the world. Comparative advantage. Smith's work laid the groundwork for the concept of comparative advantage, which states that countries should specialize in producing goods they can make most efficiently and trade it for other goods. This principle underpins modern international trade theory. It's interesting to note that despite Smith's ideas promoting free markets and minimal government intervention, England's economic policy at the time was quite protectionist. This contradicts Smith's recommendations and demonstrates that some of his ideas were more aspirational and even delusional than reflective of the reality. Britain used Smith's free trade ideas to their advantage, urging other countries to adopt them while benefiting from protectionist policies themselves. This allowed Britain to maintain its dominant economic uh, position and stifle the growth and development of other nations. Some other countries also repeated this trick over centuries, telling others to adhere to Smith's recommendations while successfully ignoring them for their own sake. That brings us to the point that economic theory is not descriptive in its nature. It is split into two branches, for internal use only and for exports, so to say. It makes it a powerful hidden weapon in the global economic challenge of our centuries. Interestingly, Adam Smith's work had such a profound impact on the development of economic thought and policy over time. Some people believe Adam Smith, uh, through his intellectual contribution, has been more influential than many kings. As the father of modern economics, his ideas laid the foundation for classical economics and continue to shape economic uh, thought and policy even nowadays. His book uh, the Wealth of Nations uh, has had a significant impact on economic theory and practices, and his concept of the invisible hand is widely recognized uh, in discussions of the free market capitalism uh, even nowadays. In this sense, Smith's influence has arguably been more lasting and widespread than the influence of many monarchs throughout history. If you want to dive deeper into the ideas of free market versus government regulation, please let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and if you enjoyed this video, be sure to smash the like button, share the video, and subscribe to our channel. And please suggest your favorite books in the comments below. See you in the next video.